The word terrorism or terrorist, is that a media term or is that a real legal term? Because when that Mr. Smith does something, it's always a sick mind. When Mr. Ahmed gets involved, no matter how depressed or schizophrenic he is or she is, then everywhere, including the FBI wording that you hear, the first word is the terrorism. So is there something, I mean, how, how do you prove that unless you, there is, you know, evidence, and as you said, you're not proven guilty unless it is otherwise. So where did that come from in law? Is there anything to prevent that in the media, just to you hear, the, because it disturbs all of us in school, our kids, when they hear something happen, name is Muslim, oh, now we have to be scared. Is there anything that can be done legally about that? So just very, very quickly, terrorism does have a legal definition and generally relates to foreign terrorist organizations. But I think for our concern, it's more of a political term, right? And it is a political term where, I mean, uh, the, one of the recent uh, the terrorist attacks in Austin, you know, they said, oh, we don't think it has a connection to terrorism. Well, if, if mailing bombs to African Americans and letting, you know, trying to kill them isn't terrorism, I don't know what is. It's obviously a political term. We need to get to beyond that and we need to get beyond telling people we're not terrorists. I hate when people say that. I, uh, you know, don't tell people you're not show them what you are. It is a political term and we haven't invested as much in the media. That's why the media has selectively used terms against us. What needs to be done, I'm a firm believer, sorry, because I know our time is very much up and I think you just have something to say as well. So what needs to be done is we need to have in every city full-time Muslim working full-time to engage the media to challenge unfair standards. For example, Daesh is one of the only terrorist organizations whose name is translated into English, and they translate it as Islamic State, so they say Islamic State kills, Islamic State terrorizes. They didn't translate Al-Qaeda, because to say the base kills doesn't mean anything. And to say Daesh kills doesn't mean anything, but to say Islamic State kills means something. That's because people in media agreed to do that as a result of the Islamophobia industry. You can read more about it at Islamophobia.org or read Fear Inc. But understand language matters, understand media engagement matters, and don't be upset when people misrepresent you when you fail to represent yourself for yourself. You know? So in, represent yourself for yourself and the sky's the limit. We got a lot of potential, brothers and sisters.